When I moved to Georgia, everybody was telling me about these buttered crackers. And they were like, oh, it's from this famous restaurant club. You had it? Have you had it? I thought, no, I haven't had it. And they're made on saltines. My version of it called fire crackers. I have like spice in them and some seeds. Really, really good. These go great with cocktails. They go great just by themselves. They go great with goat cheese. They go really goes great with anything. But I'm going to show you how to make these. It's going to be great. We're gonna make the clarified butter for the buttered crackers and we're not going to heat it up really fast we're just gonna heat it up slowly so that it separates and if you've never made clarified butter there's three parts of the clarified butter there's the whey the milk solids and then the clarified butter that's in the center once this separates we're gonna skim off the top which is the whey then pour off the center portion which is the clarified butter and we're gonna make sure we don't have any of the solids which are at the bottom of the pan this is the clarified butter this is the milk salad. That's what we would make brown butter. And up here that we removed is where the whey is. So we're gonna pour this out and make sure we don't get any of this into the pan when we're doing it. So that's how you make clarified butter. I'm gonna make two kinds of crackers. The one cracker that's apparently famous here in Georgia from that really high-end club. My version called fire cracker, which is gonna be spicy. You basically toss the crackers in here and then put them on a sheet pan. That's a good name, Firecracker. The story behind this is that somehow they were not of oyster crackers. The chef got saltines and clarified some butter and people at the restaurant were like, these are great, I love them, you know, I want more. Fennel seeds, I don't want them to burn, I just want them to kind of leave a little bit of their flavor into the oil, but I also want the texture of the fennel seeds on the crackers themselves. Spread them around. Right now I'm gonna put them in the oven at 400 degrees. And the great thing about the clarified butter, you can cook super high heat all the way to 400 degrees. This stuff is very difficult to work. Ooh, they look really good. Ooh. Ow! Why do I try to do it again? Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of kosher salt. I know they're saltines and they have salt. I think when I put them in that butter, they probably lost a little bit of their salt. And I like salt, I'll admit it. Buttered crackers from that fancy club, and then my version fire cracker. These always come out good. You know how Ritz crackers are really buttery? That's how this is. It just has like extra butter flavor. That's what that clarified butter does. This stuff right here is amazing. So if you're doing high heat cooking and you really love the flavor of butter, or you like to do pancakes in the morning and you wonder why it's all smoky, you have to learn how to make the clarified butter. It's super easy and it's essential. And this will last in your refrigerator for seven months. And I wanna try my firecracker. Mmm, that would good too. But you know what this is crying for? Ooh, I just got, ooh. <laughs> Woo, I just got the heat, but it's still good. <laughs> What this is crying for, I'm sorry to say, it's not. I'm not gonna say tea or coffee or water. I'm gonna say it's crying for some sort of cocktail. Yeah, and you know what? It's around three o'clock right now and I'm gonna put these to the side and I might call some friends over and be like, hey, I just made these. Do you wanna have a cocktail over? Oh yeah, sure I am. I'm gonna go call a couple of my friends and gobble these up with a couple cocktails because sharing is caring.